What's up everyone? So I've been asked a lot of where can you find some good leads at? Because apparently I haven't covered a video specifically for where do you find leads. So here we are today. So there's a couple places that I can give you where you can get leads and they should turn out and turn into a deal for you. That way you can sell paper and get away from that nine to five rat race BS crap. So let's get into it and try to follow along. I'll simplify it as much as I can. Everything I'm going to show you is probably, honestly, I think you can go to on my website and click a link to it. So here we go. First one, if you go to my site, there's a link, Next Level Data. I'll get up here so you can see it, nextlevelData.com. That's a good place to buy lead list, cash buyers list. Click on lead list. Then here's all the types to have. But if you read here, oh, this is something new that just started. You buy one list, you get one list free. So if you buy any lead list of a thousand or greater leads, you get a free hundred cash buyers list, hundred fifty dollar value. So as you can see, here's the prices. You go down here and scroll. You fill out the form, kind of list you want. You hit submit, check out. I mean, you pay it. And uh, you get your list emailed to you. It's already skip traced. That means it comes with emails, cell phones, landlines uh, to your email. It takes 24 to 48 hours. Um, that's one place you can buy a lead list. And plus, you get a cash buyer's list in the same area that you're buying your lead list from, assuming you buy uh, at least a 1K list or greater. So that's one good place to get high quality leads. The next one will be driving for dollars. So if you go to thepaulmccombs.com and click on uh, Deal Machine, it'll take you there and you'll get a seven day trial. You get free 250 skip traces with this link. Once you're inside Deal Machine and you sign up for the trial, you can type up here what city you want to do. Uh, if you're going to do virtual driving for dollars and you can literally do virtual driving for dollars here. Uh, you just drop your little dude on here, drive around on your computer. You don't have to leave your house. And you can pick any state you want and start gathering leads. And then you can skip trace them within the app. You can send a mailer to them within the app. Uh, driving for dollars is a great source. If you physically get out there and drive in your car, you download the Deal Machine app as well. And it'll tra track you as you drive through the neighborhoods. You look for houses that, you know, dirty roofs, grown tall grass, mail in the mailboxes. Looks like it's been there for a month. Uh, just signs of people who's not really keeping up with their homes, vacant, obviously, Christmas lights on the house, whatnot. And then you mark them on your, it, within the app, once you get a list, and I recommend trying to get at least 500 homes, then you can either cold call them, text blast them, or send them mailers within the app. Uh, driving for dollars is going to be one of your hottest leads because you're physically seeing the property. You know it's in horrible condition, so... There's no old data. Like if you buy lead lists, I mean, obviously lead lists are not going to come 100% accurate data of, you know, everybody has a doo-doo house. So you're going off of modifiers and hoping that you're finding motivated homeowners who would take a cash offer. So with driving for dollars, you're physically laying eyes on the property. You know it needs work. So it's a very solid uh, lead source. Another High quality lead sources, you uh, go to your local courthouse, you go to the code enforcement department, and when you come in, you're going to see the clerk there, try to be nice to her, uh, put her in a good mood, because usually they're not friendly, and anybody in the courthouse is usually not friendly in any courthouse that I've ever been in, but you want to ask her for a list of the red tag houses. Uh, you may pay five bucks for it, you may get it for free, you may get yelled at and said they don't give it every courthouse is different but red tags are houses that are not livable by the county state city whatever um so what you're going to do is you're going to compile that list they're going to print them off hopefully for you and you pay 5 10 20 bucks or you get it for free then you're going to take that list you're going to want to skip trace it to get the uh homeowners contact info and whatnot you can do that through next level data even if it just gives you the I don't know. Some some give you the property's address, not the homeowner's name. Some give you all of it. I mean, I've seen both types of lists. So you get the homeowner's name. You can take it to next level data. Even if you don't have the homeowner's info, you just got the property address. They can still skip trace it. So you want to get it skip trace. You'll get back emails, landline, cell phones. You can either 
cold call the list and say, hey, I'm interested in a house that you know you own that's been red tagged or whatever. And you can even drive by the properties to get pictures of it, to put your eyes on it before you cold call to see what kind of shapes it's in. So that way you have an idea of how bad the repairs really are. Uh, but a lot of these are issues for people because the you know the city's on to them and they just they don't want to mess with it they either don't have the money the time most of the time it's just they don't have the money so it's a great list to get like i said it's called the red tag list go to your courthouse go into the code enforcement area ask for the red tag list um if you're going to use a if you're going to text blast because i don't like cold calling um i would use launch control for text blasting i'll show you what that is Go back to the Paul McComas and click on the launch control unlimited text blasting. So with launch control, this is what it looks like inside here. Um, you can skip trace within here and all that stuff too. You got templates. So as you text with launch control, you send out, you put, make a templates. I think there's 10 at a time. You change it up so every, it'll automatically send them out and it changes it. So that way the carriers don't block your text messages. You can send uh, 18,000 different contacts a month, unlimited text with each contact though. So that's where the unlimited comes in. You can send out 600 texts a day and carry conversations as much as you want through text. Other uh, text messaging services, they charge you per text going, per text coming, like three cents going out, three cents coming in. And because I don't like to cold call, I close 90% of my people via text or messenger or whatnot. I don't ever try to pick up the phone. So launch control, it's awesome. It's easy to separate leads from warm, cold, uh, follow up, do not calls. It's just, it's, it's a simple, simple um, text blasting service that, like I said, the unlimited texting is what won it over for me and the simplicity of it. Uh, the next lead list, you can try to get a water shut off list. Um, that depends on your water department. Some are public and some are privately owned. So the private owned ones won't give it to you. The public ones can. Um, there's a, uh, I forget, some act, I forget the name of it off the top of my head, that says that Freedom, Freedom Information Care Act or something, I think that's the name of it, where a public utility, they have to give you the info of a water shut off list, but a privately owned water company does not have to. Those are great lists if you can get your hands on one. I've never done it myself. Um, I've just wasn't interested in going down there haggling with a water company for a, a list. So, but I know a lot of uh, other investors that they live and die by the water shut off list. Here's one that a lot of people don't talk about. Uh, and this varies by counties too. You can go online, like in Nashville and Chattanooga, you pay 50 bucks a month for court access online files, but you can, uh, go online and look for divorces each day that have been filed and that's a hot list because you literally catch it right when it's filed you can do the same for pre foreclosures as well while you're on there but you're looking for stuff that just got filed so you can be you know you'll get first crack at it before it ends up on one of these lead lists that someone buys so divorces with your county court uh, online records and then uh, the foreclosures when they get filed. Uh, a lot of times the foreclosures will be filed and the homeowner is not even aware that it's been filed in the court system yet. Like you'll catch it the day it's filed before they're even aware it's actually made it into the court system. So those are really, really, really hot leads as well. Um, but at the end of the day, my recommendation is pick a marketing source you wanna use, pick a niche of a lead list that you wanna target and then become great at it. The biggest failure I see with a lot of beginning wholesalers who's like, well, I've been doing this for a year and haven't done a deal. That's because they're casting this huge net. They're trying this list, this list, this source, this. It's, they're trying to cold call. Then they're doing uh, ringless voicemails or they're doing mailers or text blasts, but they're doing it in small quantities and they're not perfecting any of it. They're just, they, did, they never became great at anything. So. If your weakness is calling, you don't like talking on the phone, I suggest focus on either mailers or text blasting. Everybody likes texting. I mean, there's a lot of keyboard warriors in the world, trust me, most of them find me. So um, just whatever you, you're comfortable with and you feel confident in is what you need to focus on. 
uh, as for your niche, if you're going to do divorces because, you know, you're divorced and you just want to help those people out, you feel like there's a connection there or you was in, you've been foreclosed on before in the past and now you want to help people who's, you know, going through foreclosure because you know what it's like and that's what, you know, drives you, then focus on that list. Focus on those people. Become great at those type of lists because every list, you got to handle it different. You can't talk to someone in divorce the same as you can talk to someone in pre-foreclosure. Different emotions are flowing, different scenarios. You got to approach both of those type of leads totally different. So probate, you got to approach that totally different. You know, someone who just, uh, their spouse just died or whatever. You can't just come up to them and talk to them like any other lead. You got to handle them different. So whatever niche you want to focus on, you just got to become great at it. Don't try to do 10 different type of these lead lists and you try cold calling, you try to just, whatever you're gonna do, pick one type of list, one type of uh, way to communicate that list and focus on it. If you're gonna do driving for dollars, you gotta be consistent. You can't expect to go drive one day a week and think you're gonna get a deal in 30 days. It's just not gonna happen. It's not realistic. Yeah, you may, I mean, but it's gonna be like hitting a lottery. I mean, it's not feasible. So if you're doing driving for dollars, you do it consistently, either daily. I mean, minimum, you should get 500 leads a week. 500 leads a week driving for dollars. And if you live in a small town, middle of nowhere like me, do it virtual. I mean, or drive farther away and hit towns where you can get 500 leads a week. And if you don't have time, but you have some resources, you can hire a driver, pay them 10, 15 bucks an hour and add them to the deal machine app. And you can watch where they go, track them. They can upload pictures and everything within the app. So there's really no excuses other than you just are lazy and you want to make an excuse. And that's, sadly, that's what I see a lot of. So those are the, where you can get leads, solid leads. Probate, obviously, I didn't touch a lot on probate because I tell people, well, probate, you should reach out to probate attorneys. I've, I've heard so many people, I mean, you can get them, but there's more people who the attorneys won't give them. Uh, probate leads so you have to build a relationship with attorneys to get them you have to be able to offer them something uh, for you to get access to probate leads so I don't mention that so much uh, if you ha know attorneys that are probate and you can hook up with them to get those leads great it's a great source as well but for most people they just don't have that type of connections so those uh, those lead that's where you can get some solid leads and just like I said pick a niche pick up marketing, uh, communication, whether, whether you do ringless voicemails, which, you know, it's becoming, I know it's illegal in Florida, or you want to do text blasting, I would make sure whoever you text blast with, it's TCPA compliant. Google Voice won't work for text blasting. Google just shuts you out of spam because you're sending too many. Um, or if you're going to cold call, pick a dialer. I know if you go through my link on REI Black Book, they have a profit dialer. Um, you can use profit dialer. There's a That's I mean mojo, but I think mojo costs a lot. Some people like it, but it's pretty expensive. So um, That's what I have for you all so I hope this video for those who keep asking me where you can get leads at I hope this video helps you all out So please like share follow all that good stuff and I'll uh, talk to you all later